everybody, welcome back to Shift Fire. And you are tuned in to another episode we like to call War Wallet, where we compare and contrast cheap, medium, and expensive versions of the same product. There are so many different variations of boots out there, and today we wanted to specifically highlight the tactical boot. Tactical boots, that's right. But wait, what does tactical even mean, Cameron? Something that has a deliberate plan. So something you're using in order to achieve a specific goal. And when we're talking tactical equipment in general, it is a piece of equipment that is deliberately used in assistance to achieve a goal. The goal of tactical equipment is to help you in your mission, right? A lot of people think that, you know, tactical boots are basically hiking boots and, you know, you'd be pretty close to the truth there. I mean, you're obviously gonna see a lot of people wearing tactical boots on the trail as a hiking shoe, and that is completely perfect to do. But tactical boots are also not only meant to be in that harsh nature environment, but I think also an urban environment where you're gonna find a lot of debris. Maybe you're clearing through doing a BDA, battle damage assessment. Tactical boots are gonna offer you a little bit more protection in my opinion. So we got the inexpensive pair, right? Yes. These are the Free Soldier six inch boots, about a six inch height here. Retails are about 62 bucks. We just did a Google search, said, hey, give me a cheap pair of boots. And this mm -hmm. is what we came up with. General makeup, about one and a half pounds. Waterproof coating, and then a Lycra liner, which is basically just in a way of saying spandex. Yeah, which acts as that internal waterproof membrane, correct? Yeah, right. I felt that it offered decent stability, good support. The only thing I noticed right off the bat is when I started walking in them, it actually caused my foot to pronate. And I pronate naturally already, but I was actually able to notice it. They felt comfortable very surprisingly for a $62 pair of, you know, tactical boots. And I know you are a fan of ankle support, right? Yes, I'm a big fan of ankle support. And that was one thing I noticed with these. Mm. I felt very supported when I was running around, yeah. comfortable, just slipping them on. Fair amount of arch support, just out of the box. You can obviously get some insoles and switch them out, which I've often done because my feet pronate as well. Yeah. Pretty comfortable for a boot that's pretty inexpensive. During the agility test, right. I started to find a a little bit of problem for me personally. Uh, the toe box seems to be a little bit bigger. The free soldier boot is the only boot we found that offers wide sizes. In that width that I was so happy to see, it actually ended up causing me a little bit of issues because I had that extra room in my toe box. Yeah, but when I found myself doing those dynamic movings, cutting hard left or cutting hard right into a sprint, my toes just smacked on each other and I wasn't getting that support in the toe box that I really needed, so my feet actually hurt afterwards. First impression was wearing them. Comfortable to stand in, offer a lot of protection, but doing those dynamic movements that I expect out of a tactical boot, that's where I found the cheap boots start to lack. I felt pretty supported in the ankle and mm -hmm. maybe the midfoot with yeah. the arches. Toes a bit big. Stepping up onto the box, feel pretty good actually. No big issues. I feel yeah, like I impact. could hike with these. Yeah. yeah, my foot fit well into the boot. The waterproofing, I thought it was uh, pretty all right. It did its job. I felt like it started to absorb in pretty quickly though, after just a little smattering of water. I actually started to feel at First, what I thought was water getting in to the boot, but then afterwards I came to the conclusion it was just the temperature of the water that I could feel. Cause we did the water test barefoot just so we could really feel <laughs> if water got in there. But what does that tell me? That tells me that the waterproof lining is very thin. What would you rate these one out of 10? I think I would rate these boots like a 6.8. Uh, I was thinking the same thing, I was a solid six. Let's see what we have for our moderate pair. Cameron. What are these? These are, my friend, these are the Merrill Moab 2 tactical boots in a mid configuration. All the boots here today are gonna be in a mid configuration. Right around 110 to 120 price tag on these. Well-priced boot for what they give, don't you think? These out of the box were the most comfortable boots that yep. I put on today. And still pretty light. Still a pretty light boot. They're weighing in right around just over two pounds. I felt like a hug on my foot. Yeah, right like I was wearing some slippers, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Probably some of the most comfortable boots we have on the table here. Waterproofing as well. Vibram probably makes some of the most ruggedized and durable soles you can purchase on the market today. I agree, yeah. You know, for good reason, they provide excellent grips. And these ones specifically on the Moabs are the TC5 Plus Vibram sole. When we were doing the agility drill, absolutely had no problem with any type of slippage, any type of, you know, losing my ground. They stuck to the ground and they allowed me a really good platform to push off of and do a lot of dynamic 
dynamic movement. Uh, yeah, definitely felt great doing those changes in directions. And then stepping up, obviously out of the box cushioning felt really comfortable yes. on my feet, even bearing weight. Best overall experience so far in the booths <laughs> that we tried out. Yes, they did a good job with that waterproof polyurethane uh, coating of beading off, but I found in the front here with the mesh of the uh, front of the boot, I found the water to absorb way more than the suede or the expensive pair. You can actually see the water still absorbed in that mesh. Not a huge issue because it kept my feet still dry. In the terms of weight, if you find yourself trudging through a swamp or in the beautiful Pacific Northwest on a very rainy day, <laughs> right. it might be absorbing a little bit of water, adding some weight to your feet. I would rate these probably an eight out of 10. I'm gonna give them a nine. We have four. Our expensive pair, my personal favorites, we have the Solomon XA Forces GTX Mid Tactical Boot. Solomon, huge name yep. in the tactical community, as well as the outdoor community. They make trail running shoes, they make lifestyle shoes, they make amazing tactical boots. Huh. I am currently wearing a pair <laughs> right now. You'll typically see them priced right around, at least for this specific model, you'll find them at $200, which puts us in the expensive category now. I think this is the lightest pair of boots that we have today. I think so too. Out of the three. It's my favorite feature of these boots, and Solomon does it on a lot of their shoes, but this is the quick lace system. Makes putting on and taking off these boots in absolute ease. When they're fully open, you just slip them on like slippers and then cinch down the lacing and then tuck it in the tongue. I was having trouble earlier today. I'm like, well, what do I do? Do I kind of tuck it in? But you're like, no, it actually comes with a little pocket in the tongue right there, which I thought was really innovative. It makes taking on and taking these boots off such a ease. I mean, that's very important to me because after a long, hard day or saying you gotta get some sleep in the patrol base, you wanna take off your boots, you don't have to worry about unlacing them, opening them up. Out of the box con for me, not the most comfortable to put on initially. Like we said, a lot of boots need a break-in period. The Ortholite foam and the 3D chassis tend to actually mold to your foot. So they become definitely more comfortable with wear and then all these rough parts, because it is a very durably made boot. It's gonna need to break in a little bit. Yeah. These ones are the GTX models, so that means they have a Gore-Tex membrane. And Gore-Tex is, you know, the best waterproofing you can get today as far as fabrics. They're the only boots today in our list that have the Gore-Tex. Um, but as far as, you know, moving and cutting with them, they worked absolutely fine. They're super light. So, you know, if you wanted to run in these boots, like a lot of our operators do, or our military find themselves doing in a tactical environment, they're gonna be absolutely amazing. Plus, they come in a lot of different colors. Yeah, I think these boots perform the best in our water test. Almost made the Gore-Tex not even have to work. It just shows the quality that goes into making these boots. Pouring it on, the water didn't even have a chance for me, for at least my pair, to mm -hmm. stick on. It just beaded right off. A shake of the foot, it was completely dry again. Yeah. Overall rating, I would give this boot a nine out of 10 because I'm super biased. The only thing that keeps it from getting that 10 out of 10 is you need to do that break-in period. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. 10, okay. only because it wasn't the most comfortable boot, but man, it's so well made, like you said, well constructed, and then the waterproof lining and the Gore-Tex made it impervious. So out of all the boots we've worn today and tested, Izzy, what do you think is the best bang for your buck? Best bang for your buck, I'm gonna go with the Merrells. Well-priced, you get a lot, and out of the box, they're just really comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and absolutely agree with you. Best bang for your buck, go with the Moab 2s. They're gonna last you a long time. They're gonna do exactly what you want them to do. You're gonna be very comfortable. Well, folks, we hope you learned a little bit uh, about different price tactical boots. Let us know in the comment section which one would you pick or if you have a personal favorite tactical boot that you wear, like the video, subscribe to the channel as always. And folks, we'll catch you on the next one. He will be oh, barefoot all I only day. brought one pair of socks with me today, so I've just didn't want to get him wet. For crimes against the queen, you will be hung for piracy. Bring out the convicted.